Hey everybody, it's Beth. Today I'm using two of these 7x7 seven seven frames, some vinyl from Dollar Tree, scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby, and some wooden hearts in different shapes. I took the vinyl and cut small pieces and traced the hearts on it and cut those out. I then removed the backing from one of the frames. I'll be using the glass on that one. I then removed the backing from the vinyl and placed those three hearts down on the glass. I'm taking Barely Pink Chalk Paint by Folk Art and painting the glass, just using a sponge to apply it, and I ended up needing two coats of the paint, drying it in between. I then take Extreme Glitter in the color Hologram and brush that on all of the painted area, and I do dry that, but I'd recommend removing the hearts when it's wet because some of the film from it started to remove when I peeled back the hearts. So definitely do that um, part when it's wet. I just used a little tool that I got from Dollar Tree and started prying up the vinyl and remove those. Then on the next frame, I remove the glass and I'll be using the backing from that one. I remove the stand from it and then trace that backing on my scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby and cut that out. I apply it with a generous layer of Mod Podge to the backing. I then place it down and smooth it out with my hands and then dry it with my heating tool. Once it's dry, I cut off the excess. Next, I am placing back in the backing to one and the glass in another. Next, I'm using these fairy lights I get from Amazon. I take the strand and I kind of hold it on the inside of the frame to get the length of that and then fold it onto itself that same length about three times and then just wrap the ends around itself so that'll stay in shape. Once I have the lights in like a square shape, that is the size of the inside of the frame. I hot glue each of those corners down. And then I make sure to leave a little bit of it out and the battery pack. I hot glue the top of the frame that has a scrapbook paper, the front of the frame, and then place down my other one, making sure that the bottom of the hearts is the bottom of where the battery pack is. Once that's glued down, I flip it over and glue the battery pack down. This battery pack opens the opposite side of the screws, so I make sure to put the screws down. And then that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching.